Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. Today, as you can see, we're playing some Graves Jungle, and this is probably going to be a long multi hour video. For the unranked to Diamond Graves are climb, so I think this will be episode two. Mistaken. I don't really want to do this that much. Just gonna. Like... Nice, no, stop E. Really troll. Anyway, that's fine. Um, some things to mention, I guess, before we get too far into the video. If you guys would like coaching, head over to coachmiga.com. I would recommend joining Mike's University. Get access to a bunch of VOD reviews where I'm VOD reviewing other people's games, and you can also submit your VODs and get them reviewed. At the moment, people can submit unlimited amounts, but um, really, it's going to be four per month, so one per week. Had a lot of people join already. From the uh, youtube community and everyone's seen great success so i'm kind of pretty keen to keep growing that anyway for this game we're going to be going with they are red start so it's going to be red krugs raptors into potential bot gank but that being said we will keep eyes on what this singe does because well as everyone knows right singe is kind of a liable to do questionable thing but what is this are you still level one Okay. Still level one. It's GG. We win already. I think we actually just win already, by the way, guys. Just off that. Punishing that guy's bad decisions. So, you know, what we're doing, we're just keeping in mind that he is going to be playing around these things. Rock up there as soon as he shows on the wave. Make sure we don't like get distracted. Don't go to progs or anything like that. Just paying attention really to the game and the map. Walk in there, and now I don't see how he can play the game. He doesn't have TP, and he has to walk all the way back from our base. No ghost either. Also still level one. Rundle probably could be maybe doing something a little bit better, smart with the wave maybe, but. Uh, I tried to ward there so that I could maybe doing the um we'll put the smart. Anyway, it's gonna move straight over here. So I'm a little bit confused as to where the blast plant was. But anyway. It's all fine. Smiting that just in case, you know, said running maybe had a ward, maybe it's gonna come over, I don't know. It seemed a little bit sus. I want to lose it, of course. I would like my teammates to check this because right now I get two of Sejuani's camps, but if she gets to go to my bot side and take everything, well, then she'll get three camps, which I'm afraid cash money. So I'm kind of hoping one of my teammates could have moved into that area and just checked because realistically, if Sejuani's on anything, she just gets instantly zoned. Yeah, I'm probably going to kill this. If this guy stopped pinging though. Uh, I probably should have um, jumped off that sooner. Oh my god, he has flash still. Ah, man. It's yapping. This guy's pings. Alright, Syndra, Sejuani both flashed. No one moved down to guard this like I told them to. And dealing with the noobs. Potentially could have got the Syndra kill if I was watching. I would have had to maybe drop the crab. I don't know. I actually suspect that this is watered because the psychology would normally state that she should just like stay there, greet and push. Like what would happen? I don't know. I want to say nine times out of ten. So the fact that that didn't happen is a little bit uh, surprising to me and what leads me to believe that it's watered. It's a pretty shock as to how Syndra managed to get that solid kill without flashing. I play Syndra. 
I mean, she does outrange this matchup, like, decently, but... Yeah, I'm still not really seeing it. Alright, so... Oh, it's actually quite nice. Nice. So Giovanni may be at Wolves right now, but I think she's actually still going to be on Raptors. Oh, no, she is there. Yeah. Actually dies, no flash on search. On the pig. Damn. I got a kill though. Yeah, really nice, really nice. Pick up this, take the reset. Get a bot side camps, clear them. And, uh, actually, uh, I'm not going to be able to make it. At the timing. I just double check this play, too. Pretty sure this guy just dies here in a sec. Yeah, yeah, yeah I died this. Honestly, I'm surprised Trundle's not killing this. What is going on here, man? What? What the fuck? Yeah, man. This shit's too low, Elo. Elza, 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 Elza. Alright, what do we need to do? Ping where Sejuani is. We're jungle tracking her the entire game. I don't foresee Sajrani doing the drag. There she is there. Looks like she's gonna go dive. That is gonna work. Alright. Then it looks like she's going to take my Grom. So I have two options here. The first option is just sneak over the wall through Herald. It's like not great, but still ball. Well, the second option is to invade her top side. I actually have another option, which is the one I'm probably going to go for though, which is to invade her on her red. Now, the reason that I know this is like viable is because she didn't have red for that play. And if I'm just like thinking about what I want to get, sure. Nice. Probably was gonna miss both of them. It's fine. This guy's about to hold me. Yeah, that's one. Two. Oops, that's a bad ping. Let's go here. We might actually jump over the wall and go Caitlyn in a second after we do the red. There she is. Can we hit that? Oh my goodness, brother. I don't have any wards here, so quite happy. I have to dodge that quickly. Let's fight this. Hello. Hello. Keep going. Traps. I'll take away the roots. Oh, nice. Good job. Good little bros. Ape control is definitely challenging. We did get it off in the end. And yeah, basically we just won everything, right? We have won mid lane, we've won bot lane. Bot lane is like really, really won right now, in my opinion. So 
from this point onwards, we probably have full control over the game, I would say. Now, I'm going to run straight into this topside quadrant. Maybe I'll look for Singed Gank. Probably unlikely, though. Realistically, I want to keep my foot on Sir Giovanni's throat here. Just go straight into a jungle and continue punching her as much as possible. I also want to make sure that Sir Giovanni cannot get the Herald. Um, I think one of the best ways for Sir Giovanni to get back into the game is if she was able to get the Herald. And so that means that I want to make sure that she can't do that. I'm going to Ghost Blade in here. She's probably on this. Yep. Nice. Quickly counter jungle that. Put the uh, Vega here. I think this is gonna land. Oh, it does. What the hell? Ulti? It's fine. I'll do it. Boom. I'm gonna duck back. I don't believe this crab is actually here. I'm pretty sure it's on. Speaking complete fucking nonsense there, my bad boys. Are you joking? I don't want your assistance, man. Should be in lane so that you don't lose a wave. Ah, so bad. Ever. What? <laughs> what am I watching? Shrek. Explain it. The wave. It's the wave. Yeah, needs to load up like a fucking Aloise Fundamentals video or something. With haste. Out of here, man. Let me see. All right, let's do this. We could have also gone for a pickaxe there and not gone into debt, but I'm pretty confident that I can snowball a little bit harder off going Dirk, so I'm going to pick that up. But, um, you know, maybe for more beginner players, that might not be the best play in the world. You know, you might want to play a little bit more conservatively, scale a little bit harder. Oh. Ideal. Okay. Gotta be a little bit careful here. Oh, really? Interesting. I'm uncertain how that guy lived. Maybe heal. Oh, barrier, probably. Boom. Boom. Grabbed all of this before plating falls. We're keeping track of that, of course. Is there any pig in this bush? No pigs. Beautiful. That should crash one more time. So that's really nice for me. I'll pick up the dragon here. Also picked up the center kill because she chucked out her W. And um, she just like played in a way that made it look like it was completely free, which it was. So of course we take that kill off the board. I'm gonna duck back here. Two blue grump wolves and then into her red actually I'd like to do. So I'm actually gonna change it up. I'm gonna go blue wolves grump into her red. Take her red reset. And then we'll uh, continue onwards. There's level one wolves by the looks of it too. And that's like not super surprising just based off how we've been playing. I haven't really had an opportunity to do it that I can think of. I'm gonna chat on here in a second too. Okay. Okay, I'm just checking to see if they had a um, raptor camp up. They do. I'm probably going to go raptors afterwards and then hover towards mid. Now, I don't know where Sejuani is. Don't know where. Do you know where Sejuani is? She's mid. Don't know where the Sinjur is now. Oh, that's water. There's the Sinjur. He came over. He's dead. I'm just using the R there for distance. Make sure I pick that up too. I'm gonna see if I can run this down also. She's probably gonna E me. She E's no one. Okay, that's beautiful. We'll take it. I'm gonna reset and yeah. It's GG well played as I said earlier. Quickly pick up the collector.
so just gonna quickly plug the coaching there just so that we uh you know alert these guys it's how they can get better all right let's go red raptors here and then we'll quickly either gank mid or go into sedrani's top side since that's respawning this could all be watered so i'm just gonna check it quickly Oh my goodness. I completely into that. Didn't have R. Kind of got a little bit of bamboozled there from uh, a critting, pretty much. Yes, live. What I probably should have done is alt the sin uh, auto the Syndra and alt the K. Anyway, this game's over, boys. We've got it in the bag. So yeah, I kind of expected to one shot the uh, Kalen off the first auto when I went over the wall, and that's what like set up that whole play to go a little bit uh, sideways. Boom. Right now, there's just nothing Cetrani can do. I'm just crossing straight through a jungle, taking everything. There's the K. I'm actually not gonna fuck around with that too much, just because my player's recalling here. There's the piggy. I recall in this bush. If they walk up, I'm pretty certain that I can just live. That's an issue. Age issue. Brother. I could live there, but... What the... I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I could also just live there if I had hit the ult. Um, I know she just didn't go where I expected her to go, basically. Here's what it is. I will probably sell my Thorns here, pick up the LDR, and then run straight to Herald. Take Herald. Drag it. Shitty drag. Don't really care about it. So I want to try and end off this Herald. Um, try and end by the 22, 24 minute mark here. Sedge looks like she's going to try and pick the Herald straight up. So let's see what we can do. I'm pinging the teammates to see if they can get some rotations here. Sedge is going Herald? Yes. An E again since there's Blast Plant. I don't want to get seen. Oh, that guy just tried to ult the Herald. That doesn't work, bro. Let's quickly duck over here. There should be a dead singed. It is a dead singe. I just don't want Scatter to leave. I don't want to have to drop Herald here either. Yeah, that's fine. Let's keep pushing. Nice. Nice. Let's keep going. We can actually kill this, by the way, before it crashes and save the health. Yeah, nice. And we kill this again. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, it did crash in the end. That's pain. I don't know. I feel like we're getting zoned here a little bit more than we need to. But anyway. Oh, this might be an issue. It's a big issue. God, I fucking misclicked, man. Also, I just really didn't think he'd come. I already kind of committed to it when I was there. Like, once you're in the side of this channel, you can't not go. I just needed to have a better click so that I didn't take two tower shots. And, uh, yeah. I mean, chill. 
What do I buy here? I feel like if I just go Hex, then the game's over. These two deaths might prevent me from ending at that 22-24 minute mark. I really want to do this, um... The fuck? Did that even happen? I really want to do this. So maybe I go this way and see if I can catch them out. Oh, that's bad. Here's the Kate. Ah, you're joking. Do we have the wave? I don't think we can do it. Let's go Baron quickly. Quickly, come. Multiple noobs. Nice. Let us just probably siege through top into end. Oh, Syndra? She should probably die there, to be honest. To push up and just kill this wave. I don't want Sin to be able to damage my wave as I'm pushing it in. I kind of hate that all my teammates are recalling here too. They're gonna come through here for sure. Nice. Alright, and that's GG. We should just be able to push in here. Catch that? No. Ah. Are we gonna play the game and end or what? Come teammates. Whatever, man. This is ridiculous. Surprised I didn't collect, not gonna lie. <laughs> Should make me like full health again. Okay. Why is he going the wrong way, bro? Just to, like chunk them all a little bit. This is crazy. No all base. Why does this guy keep doing this? Up with GA. I think that if I the only issue with GA is they have Caitlyn traps, so I kind of need to like kill her first. But otherwise, it's you know no big issue. I guess I'll grab 16 also. Oh, 
Holy shit. How do these people have so much time to type? This guy, these guys are like fucking typewriter professionals or what? Fucking click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. Fucking Yapatrons, mate. Let's go kill these noobs. Okay, that's one. Played hard. Whatever, man, just end this shit, please, surely. They're not gonna end, bro. The fuck are these guys, man? What rank am I playing in? What this account was like Platinum Ma. Where's a kindred account this Platinum Ma? I don't clap. And uh, rank you, Vigo. Does have such a long uh, death timer. Might as well. Really a lot that can happen here. It's like silver to gold MMR. What the hell? The hell even is low elo anymore? Maybe it's because it's early morning, to be honest. That's actually probably because. Did you really go out? Gotta be careful of this pig ult. He's just coming straight at me. Okay, finally. Alright boys, GG, well played. Holy moly. Wait, painful game. I mean, I guess this is like what everyone else goes through. But um, I think if this was a higher elo game, I literally would have ended faster. Because... Basically, just my teammates we had and know what to do, which is uh, you know, it's like a kind of weird thing for me to be saying. But anyway, so this is a um, about silver, it's silver to gold MMR game. The account is currently ranked what bronze three. So this account's MMR is actually not going up nearly as fast as most of the other ones. I don't know particularly why, but anyway. This goes to show, though, the game, how much of a 1v9 we had to pull out of the bag here to win. I, like... What the fuck am I looking at here? Anyway. Um, this is most likely going to be part of an hour to like four hour long video, so I'm just going to leave you guys with this. The runes are probably going to be the same or similar throughout the whole uh, video. It's going to be it for today, guys. Again, if you'd like coaching, head over to coachmiger.com. Until next time, guys, take care, good luck on the rift, and peace out. Alrighty, guys. Welcome to a new video. Um, today, as you can see, we're playing a little bit of Graves. Graves first, Nidalee matchup. And the ELO is going to be about gold for MMR, I do believe. This matchup's not ideal, but uh, I'm pretty confident that I will beat this guy. 
So I'm going to be starting red, going red, Krugs, Raptors, and then, you know, assessing the map from there. Pretty standard for what you guys see me do. Nothing's really changing in that regard. I am noting, though, that the enemy team is basically uh, full AD. So that's kind of nice. I might be able to do something around that. Oh, sorry, full AD, pardon me. I don't know if that's what I said or not. Anyway, I might be able to play around that fact in the uh, mid late game. Maybe an early Hex Shrinker could be kind of cool here. We'll see what happens. Also, I should mention, if you guys are wanting to take your gameplay to the next level, whilst you've got a bit of spare time, quick little uh, selfless plug for Mygus University. If you want to get your gameplay reviewed and also learn from other people's reviews, check out Coach Mygus University, uh, coachmygus.com. Basically, you can submit four of your VODs per month, and then you also get to see everybody else's VODs that they've submitted, or sorry, their VOD reviews that they've submitted. So there's just a bunch of information there that you can learn from. And really, it, it's kind of all the information laid out for you. And then it just goes down to like, you know, how much do you, um, how much do you really want to climb, right? And if you want to watch all of the VOD reviews that are done in there, you can climb pretty goddamn fast. I've seen a lot of people have some insane climbs with all the information that's been provided in there. Plus also the uh, free YouTube content that I put out regardless. Anyway, here we're going to look for the three camp in the bot. This is looking pretty chill. No wards out by the enemies. Been watching the minimap and they're trading. So I'm liking it. I'm fucking loving it. Boom, there's one. And... Sure. We'll take those. So what are we going to do here? I'm going to recall on the spot. Now, my bot lane, I believe they've got the uh, tools required to push this in, and I also believe that Nidalee is topside. So I'm going to take the recall here. How much gold am I off this? Damn, that's kind of pain. Um, fine. I would go with this recall here. I was actually hoping that I'd be a little bit closer to the Dorans, you know, maybe within 10 gold range. I probably could have waited this, but I... I figured I'd have more luck not waiting for it actually and just getting back on the map. So I'm now going to jump back onto the map. I'm going to do my bot side quadrant into invade Nidalee on her bot side quadrant, which will be after she's reset. And we'll have similar items, but I'll have the first mover advantage. Because I got that first blood kill, it's like the same as, um, you know, having clear, full clear on the camps. Oh, okay, and we see Nidalee going for the top gank. Bot lane dying, sadly. Oh, Darius also dying. I don't know, it's been mind controlled into the 2v1 underneath his tower, basically. So, uh, interesting stuff here from my teammates. Apes will be apes, I guess. That also does throw a little bit of a uh, spanner in the works with the invade because, well, Nidalee's just going to be a little bit stronger. I wish that I, uh, oh my goodness, oh, okay, the blade, he is not having it, how dare, let's get that kill. Where'd she even get it from? Comma, right? <laughs> He's actually running it, that's too funny. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna try and push out this wave here. Nidalee coming in. Boom, boom. Yeah, nice, bro. Predator, these nuts. Of course, you know, always the people on the bot accounts that do this. Um, this problem would be entirely removed if Riot just made it so that bot accounts were insta banned, which they can do. They choose not to do it. Uh, they don't want to maintain the race with the bot makers. Oh, one day make a full video about this stuff, but yeah. Very, very unfortunate. If people had to expend more money to, uh, 
purchase their account, then there would be a higher barrier to entry towards doing these things. Wait, this guy? What? Okay, I'm like 90% certain this guy is using a bot account. But this guy is also actually using like an account that's multiple years old. What the hell is going on here? My God, he's so hard stuck. 350 games. Oh, I like it, bro. He will 100% be getting banned after this one. Nice. He's gonna duck over the wall here in a moment and farm these waves. W any moment now. All right, let's go to the Middle East red. I might not have been paying enough attention, but I'm pretty sure that a red is up. Yeah, there's the Nancia. Nope, as I suspected. Right is up and actually Bolin are looking like a juicy little snack down there too. Whoa, Nidalee. How about that one, bro? Don't know about that one. Hike here. Well, I'm gonna try and wait for damage on the wave. They're not putting it out. Nice, they're dead here. Ahaha! <laughs> do what do what do you have to play this game a little bit differently i definitely need to pick up the nidalee kill at some point i also need to pick up the shutdown on cleb too probably oh hello boys i have no mana is the only issue here ah fuck i mean no smart part of me We have the rotations. Fine, whatever. start typing to my teammates to try and make it so they don't FF15. I can definitely carry this game if these guys don't FF on me. The issue with the last time is they FF'd on me. Clutch shut down there, but ideally I would get that. Ah, it is unfortunate. My lux does seem a little bit slow. I don't really have a lot of uh, options to play around here, sadly. Yeah, 
is this water is the question. My goodness, fuck off. <laughs> uh, that's too funny. My teammates are such noobs, man. They're just fucking yapping the whole time. These guys stop yapping? Stop trying to reinvent the wheel? Play the game? Just like Keiko Int. Alright, should catch these. Yes. Good lord. Hate is tryharding a little to grief by like going to their lanes to just always take XP. She's uh looks like it's not the first time she's done this. Which is why I really really want my teammates to not FF and to like, take this game as late as possible. The longer that this guy ends for, the uh, more chance that he actually gets punished. And hopefully then we can have him off the rift. Nice. Nice. Okay, I don't want to drop this Herald top because the fucking gates arrived. Which is a bit of an unfortunate event for me. I'm gonna try and drop it here behind the tower. Crash mid. Ooh, it would also be kind of chill if I got this kill. I have to kill these creeps because otherwise it'll fuck it up. <sighs> sake. Nice, good blocks. Nice, you're dead, bro. I'm gonna give it to Nami, by the way, here. Let's see if I can trade out. I just want to make sure that Kled doesn't get this kill. That's perfect. So we got mid tower for that. I also got Nami ult plus ignite. And we gave this shutdown gold of mine over to Nami. All right? So all of that is really, really good stuff. Turns out Kled turned around. A little bit unfortunate. The only way we can really lose here if Caitlyn starts like taking camps over anything else. But right now she's just following my laners, which sucks. But this guy can definitely get banned. I couldn't imagine being this guy IRL, to be honest. He must have uh, a lot going on in his life. Sadly, probably a young man that is uh, at risk of self-deletion. Nidalee's here. Who oh, she is? Oh. Oh, yeah. Go jump on me, please. Damn, yeah, mine, that's a bit too much. Oh, damn. Oh, I'm gonna save this chick. Um, 
I'm just trying to think of where to go here. Thinking I have to shut down this cled. Lux can push the midways. Ah. Man. Dark's going the other way. Kate's going the other way. I need to push this wave, I guess. What's this guy have? Not ideal. Holy shit, man. We had to fucking clutch that up. Same with the um, fast combo for R. Damn. Alright, nice. I gotta take this tower, shut him down, and I'm gonna push another two waves. No, probably another one wave, and then eat Nidalee's camps. I actually think all of Nidalee's camps are up here, and I've got the uh, punishment right now. Yeah. Nidalee, no flash. Quickly do this. Rapid fire cannon. Maybe do it to my kid. She's actually trying a lot harder now, by the way, guys. You can see how much more creep she's uh, managed to get in the last, you know, X amount of time. I don't know why she's so intent on griefing my laners. She is like hard griefing the Darius and the Fizz. I don't know if they like said something. I speculate it's probably because they started typing. You know, after she like made the commitment to start inting, then they like start typing. And then, you know, just because this guy's like purely running on emotional decisions. He's uh, um, transferred his int over onto them. It's my speculation, at least. Holy shit, man. That's such a tragedy. I can't believe they both lived. I thought that at least one of them would get... um. You know, killed that by collector. Oh, that's sad. I chuck the W, try and um, pick up the Nidalee. All right, quick little plug of the coaching. Buy items, run back out onto the map. Gotta protect this drag. I don't want to continue letting them just get free drags. Plus, this drag is super, super important. Um, as in the soul. I can't get there in time, so I'm not gonna go. This is something that's really important too, guys, like, um, judging distances. Like, I knew I couldn't get there to stop or, like, pick that Nami, so then I went for a completely different approach to the skirmish. Now I'm here. Oh, this looks free. Nice. That's a fresh red, which means their red is down. I'll jump over this wall. Oh, someone, where are you landing?
That kill? No. Fuck me, that'd be so close. Uh, I have to flash here actually and create distance. I can kill, I just need to create that distance. Nice, there we go. As I said. Fuck over here. Okay. Nearly predatorizing me. <laughs> indeed brother indeed the deal is off all right let's quickly base let's grab this and this i'll also sell this one do an upgrade you don't do it because you like to help people you do it because you like the money it's actually a weird I don't know, it's a weird thing, right? I do enjoy helping people, actually. It's one of the major parts as to why I do what I do. But, uh... No. One needs money. Uh, without money, it's quite hard to do anything, actually. Oh no, she's finally figured out she can start taking camps. An issue? No, actually, it doesn't matter. I've already got to the point where it doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, we'll try and get this cape banned. This looks like it's a GG well played. Gonna quickly base, Bloodthirst to Pink Ward, take Baron, GG well played. A solo Baron here. Looks like Fizz is gonna die, but on the other side of that, looks like Fizz is going to waste a shit ton of their time. Oh my god, I smited by accident. Jesus Christ. Not looking like it's gonna matter, but. God damn. Alright boys, let's quickly push this shit. And she's you well played. How to win a 4v fucking 5 with the intentional feed. Not even a 4v5, it's the inter. I've got the enemy team are so upset at me for smurfing and they've not been upset at all the entire game for Caitlyn inting the game. One is uh, far worse than the other. Okay. This is ears, not too bad. I gotta be a little bit careful of that. Just goes to show people love free OP. And they suck. This guy didn't suck. He would not care about free LP nearly as much. Oh, this is an issue. Major issue. <laughs> um.
Uh, that is amusing. This guy is um concerned about Smurfs ruining his games. He's playing Predatoration in Italy. He has not finished his jungle item at 27 minutes. There's no There's no shot. This it's just like a disconnect from reality. That's like you know, it's a crazy, crazy thing to read. It is fine, I'm goated with Nidalee, but this graves is cringe. He is right though. It's not a real job. Very sadly. A red buff here for me? What are you doing, bro? Interesting. You know, this, this Nili will go like one of two ways. There's actually like a not zero chance that this guy actually ends up getting coached for me. There's so many people who flame in games who are like super upset like this that actually end up getting coaching. It depends on the financial status of the personnel. Like if it's a 16 year old kid, of course I'll never. If it's like a, a dude who actually just wants to like whatever reach his goals quickly, which happens a lot more than people would probably imagine. You anyway, know, I think this is GG boys. Quickly end the shit up here. I gotta be careful I don't get scooped in. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Get the coaching ready to be plugged. Round request instantly by chance and a bunch of eights. The fuck is this? It's more for my last game, I think. Anyway, boys, um, I think that makes us like 10 and 0 right now. So that's a pretty, pretty nice account. 9 and 0. Apologies. And we will report this guy. It's actually going to be a little bit harder to get this guy banned than I imagined because he stopped inting. But I will manually report him after. The fact that Riot doesn't auto detect this, by the way, extremely cringe in my opinion. Like, the fact that anyone even has to like make a manual report for this Caitlyn to get banned here with this is completely cringe. I do not know. Like, it's so disgusting to me. I feel disgust that Riot has not figured this out yet. And it, to me, in my opinion, it's probably not that they can't figure it out or they haven't figured it out. It's just that they don't want to. But anyway, this guy, what a freak. Um, again, gold-ish MMR, and as you can see, same rooms that we took in the previous games. If you guys want to learn how to carry like this, join Coach Marga's university, uh, coachmarga.com. Look forward to seeing some of you there. Until next time, peace out, take care. Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. As you guys can see today, playing some more graves. Graves versus Shyvana this matchup. Um, the whole enemy team comp is a little bit annoying because they're super long ranged, but other than that, it should be fine. So Shyvana gets really low on her first clear. Probably the clear I'm going to look for is Red, Krugs, Raptors, and then invade her on her wolf camp. She should be low when she gets there, even though she'll get there fast. I should just be able to walk in, kill her, I hope. Anyway, I should also mention while I have you guys here, if you are someone who is looking for coaching, um, check out coachmiger.com. You can join Coach Marga's university over there and start climbing faster. 
Uh, it's probably, you know, I think I'm gonna get him. I think this is fine. You know, you could have probably waited a little bit longer, though, to move over to this um, defensive position here. Killed with ease. Now, Claire is not showing, which is actually a little bit concerning because that may be an indication that Shavana is starting on her blue. Uh, that's way too late, and I'm thinking that I'm incorrect, and here's just like late to the uh, game. Like, whatever reason. Let's hope. Oh, what the hell? Still moving. Oh my god, a mini block there is so hard. That's such a tragedy, especially on the last bullet for reload. Yeah, that was a real tragedy there at the end. Mid gank is like okay here, but I think that the invade is still better, so I'm just gonna skip this and go for the invade. Oh, there she is. I um I just wanted to make sure that I wasted as much of Grant's time there as possible, but I actually maybe could have tried to go the other way and live. Potentially. Okay, there's the Shy of Lana. Hmm. For sure, in my opinion, she wants to do this drag on spawn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the map here and I'm going to do my bot side into her bot side. And what this does is it forces her to not be able to do the drag then. Could have invaded Shavana there. I'm going here. Oh, my goodness. Ah, 
<laughs> any tankers? Any tankers? Not like that. We kill, we kill, we kill. Put the wave proxied. Oh, goodness. Why is that so far away, man? Oh, that's an issue. Boom. Boom, let's just keep splitting the map like this, guys. It's really, really hard for them to do anything about this right now. Except for the brand rotation. That might be an issue. My teammates did not want to come. Ah, fuck, man. I had to do everything there. It's more important that I live... Kill it! Oh my goodness, brother. Come on now. Kill this! Ah. Whatever. Can't play with noobs. If I had got the red, I would have won that all. Alright, what does Shavana do right now? She recalls into topside. Her I base. Oh, sorry, not I base. Pardon me. I go to my red into her blue. So yeah, ideally I would have um, got that red. I just needed to make sure that I didn't get hit by any luck skews. That's like the main issue there. And in my opinion, uh, we should have got like two or three kills probably there. If my teammates wanted to fight it more. Did not. This guy just needed to bolt to the Shavana sooner. Premier thing. Hello, hello, hello. Oh no, he might have bamboozled me and go and drag after the uh after the vision went down. Need my teammates to check. Hello. Wanna be check? Oh little noob. Walk drag. I'm out of pings, bro. Nice, man. Brad is not letting me ping anymore. Wow, would you look at that, man? Only as if I pinged you 10 bajillion times. That's disgusting, bro. So what she did was reset into it. Anyway, I knew she had to be on that side of the map in most likely that area for a long time because she wasn't top yet. But yeah, could not for the life of me get my center to play the video game, sadly. Isn't he here? I can't believe that my son will let that guy do that. Then I can like literally 1v9 up in there because he's not 6 yet. And there's like no way for him to really be 6 there. The noob show, man. So sad. Excited so much this game to like prevent that from happening. Ah, that was bad. I'm not going to drop Harold because, in my opinion, this guy can like take this whole tower, probably, this game. A decent chance of that. So instead, I'm going to save Harold for some place that hopefully I can use it more actually. I do not know how you guys died. Anyway, quickly check the blue.
instantly ghost blade. Auto that shit, brother. Beautiful. Damn. Uh, I kind of don't want to drop it here because I have to split it three ways. It's going to siege this tower with them and then fuck up out of here, I guess. I'll probably drop it mid. I'm actually going to run straight mid here and see if we can kill this guy with any ult and then drop it mid. Oh, and he's decided that he wants to go in right now. Drop the fucking ghost blade. Okay, let's do that. Send the bear in or what? Nice. Ends up being a little bit of an early arrow drop, but I was uh, planning that should send the bear in. I would be able to go in sooner. Anyway, I'm gonna go over to Shyvana's. No, I'm not. She just showed. I was gonna go to Shyvana's red though, but then once she showed, I didn't need to. Instead, what I'll do is I'll quickly check that. Okay. They're very close to getting that last play. As you can see, we even, like, because of how we play, we've managed to take like nearly all the plates in this game, which is going to be huge for us. Snowballing the game and actually having our teammates hopefully be useful contributors to the game. As opposed to the last two games where uh, our teammates were basically useless. No roll. Time way to put it. Very nice stuff. Let's jump over here. Okay. Actually, Shavana blows up. Wink. All right, beautiful stuff. Let's take the reset here, guys, and buy our item and a Shiji well played. Doesn't really matter. I would have liked to have had a pink wood when I re entered the map here just to go play around this drag. And since Shyvana is such a drag heavy champion, I'm gonna run straight to it. Normally, I mean, to be honest, in nearly every game, you should run straight to drag here, but in a low elo game where I'm this ahead, I would normally not run to it because I just believe they won't do it. But in this specific game, because Shyvana is so weak, ah, uh, sorry, because Shyvana wants to do it so much, regardless of how weak she is. I mean, she will just probably go and do it, so that's why I'm doing it like this. Clear it on vision. It's that, and see the brand down below me. It doesn't look like Ash actually wants to kill me, so duck down. Maybe take Krugs plus Brand into... Oh, there is Krugs, yeah. Okay, nice. Oh, GG well played, boys. Nice. Pretty expected. I think that makes it 10-0 on this account, by the way, for the unranked 2... Diamond on Graves, I will probably 
be recording a bunch more on this account uh, before I release this video, though. I'm gonna honor the Shaco. He seemed to perform pretty well. Also, guys, again, I'll add, if you guys would like to get coaching, head over to coachmiga.com, join Migas University, and start improving ASAP. This is the damage, these are the runes, and bada bing bada boom. Alright guys, until next time, take care, good luck on the rift, and peace out. Alrighty guys, welcome to a new video. As you can see, my teammates have drafted me a fucking beautiful team comp here. With the uh, Xinxia mid, and I originally had the Yon ADC, but my top laner decided that he could not deal with that and picked uh, Lucian to force the swap. And you know what? Uh, probably a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Probably a good thing. Anyway, so here we are, we're starting on the red buff. I am presuming that Ezreal is starting on his red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go red, raptors... Oh, sorry, Red Krug's Raptors into Invade Ezreal on his blue, hopefully. Don't have info of where Ezreal started. That Jinx arriving late, though, it does smell like Ezreal started on his blue. I would have thought he needed a leash, but I chose to start on his red. Oh, who the fuck knows, man. Blowy low shit is too confusing. There's no mana. Alright, no, I'm gonna... It's so weird, right? Because my game knowledge says that Ezreal has to start red, but the game... Information is telling me that Ezreal started on his blue. I'm going to trust the game information and I'm going to go path towards Ezreal's red now because he started on his blue, presumably. Hopefully I'm right and I didn't just bamboozle myself. Damn. Taking like a major issue in the mid lane. Okay. What the fuck is this? You have a tear already. Okay. Oh, you're dead, bro, no? Oh, fuck me. Damn. Actually kind of not too bad. Oh my god. Get his ass. Still let him get the fucking red. Is he missed his Q. I get another one. Okay, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um What's that even mean? Oh my god. Deck collector. Wait, is this like a fucking plat game? Emerald game? Or is this just a fake one? Yeah, it's a complete noob if it's the real one. Anyway, we're gonna do Grump, Blue here. We might check Topside Krabby. I think Topside Crab will be up actually. And yeah, I think we're going to just like Smurf on this game. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Mystery, no? No, oh, I missed my Q. Anyway, should just die here. I need to just. Um... Anyway, we've probably. Really helped out Zinzel there, to be honest, guys. <coughs> Pardon me. The hell is that? Yeah, so we chunked that guy. Zinzel now has full wave control. I think that's a really big play for him.
should be nothing here, but it's some double check. Goodness. Oh my goodness, man. I could have just taken that. Why do you only have 23 cents? What have you been doing? What? Oh my goodness. Kill, 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 kill. Oh yeah. <laughs> we should have killed them both here, man. Okay, nice. Nah, so we will. What a gross game. We're winning, but. Just not happy. I want to invade Etro here on his blue, but. Ball lane's refilling. Oh fuck, I'm still doing it. Thank goodness. Fucking funny, man. I can't fucking auto through anyone. <sighs> Pain. That one's not really anyone's fault, but. I hate this champion, by the way. This champ is so fucked to burst if you're playing Graves. This game is over, though. We've won. This guy can't play the game anymore. Right now, I'm just going to run straight to his red. Should be no one to rotate to him here this time. I'm going to quickly check his raptors. He's not on them, so that means he's on his red or Krogs right now. I'm just going to walk in, kill this guy. Boom. Ah, you're kidding. Kill this guy. Um, let's go take Ezreal's Raptors here, I guess, and then we'll go down to our bot side camps. This guy have the Kindle gem. Nice. Oh, here he is. Okay. Nice. I'll deal damage to this guy sooner or later, right? Nice, there we go. Is he gonna tilt me?
I'm forcing this game so hard, but it should be forcible. There's no way these guys should be able to do what's happening in this game. Let's go with this. It's a little bit too risky to go into debt here, so grab the pickaxe. Ping where Ezreal's going. I honestly think we've done it. I think we've won v 9 the game already, but I just want to make sure that nothing bad happens. Nice. Since I can pick that up for sure. Ezreal JG just sucks now. It's just. I don't know. Unfortunately, it, yeah, it just completely sucks. There's no redeeming quality. Clear this mid wave. Nice, got him. Shit's champion. Oh, got that. We're gonna get this. I think we can get this actually. Ah, oh, he wasted all those. Holy shit. It's close. Let's recall here. Ezreal's probably going to get all of this. That's fine. I'm going to ping that he's there in a second too. Two level lead. And camp lead. Not bad at all. Um, Honestly, I'm just going to pick up my camps and walk here. I don't think I need to rush because it's not like it's going to kill the tower or anything. Like, this tower drop's just basically completely useless. So I'm probably just going to try and get here and then go straight to, like, Ezreal's Krogs. And he either is on his Krogs when I get there, or he resets because he has to go defend his base. Okay. Boom. Oh, you're dead, bro. What? <sighs> Fuck, bro, man. This champ. Remove Bron from the game, man. Please, I beg you.
Yeah, fuck, bro. Biggest cocklord champion ever. Hmm, it's dodgy. Let me see if I can get in here, though. really bad by me. Just bad clicks. Bad clicks, bad camera control. Mm -hmm. So much better to take that. I'm gonna get this shit crashed ASAP so it can start dying to the tower. Fun of me. We can win in five minutes. <laughs> Oh, is my blue buff? Uh, yeah. My oh, brother, that's not freaky. That is not freaky, brother. I think the diagnosis on that one is might be terminal. Oh wow, Ezreal was able to just get there. I'm glad you took blue. Just cruise on down here. Nice. I'm gonna save my E here for him in case he flashes. Oh, I can't now. Okay, should die. Boom. What the fuck, man? the Ezreal. Oh, brother! That's not enough health. The hell? How come I didn't kill him, huh? Anyway. Boink. This looks sketchy. Is that real? Hang on. It. <clears throat> Go with this. I want to go do the Baron, I kind of do, to be honest, since Cho's dead. But at the same time, I don't want to go over there because I just strongly believe I would not be able to get my teammates to rotate. Especially with the drag coming up and all this shit. So I'm thinking that I'm just going to have to fist fight end it.
keep going. Such a long game, man. Suck. Whatever. <laughs> ah! Look at these people. the fucking sheen sure I guess he's going divine Sundra that's the AP trail gas Such a painful and long game, man. This guy has one E left. Hopefully, that hit him. Okay, didn't end up going where I thought he'd go. As long as the chick puts her abilities on me, it's fine. Oh, you don't TP'd in the pit. That's not ideal. We're probably gonna figure out soon. Somehow, our oh, Zinzao is down two levels on the enemy. Hello, Israel. Sure, bro, sure. Somehow, we're dying again. GG well played man. GG well played. Another game where you basically have to just completely 1v9. Every game's a bit like this. Beautiful stuff. Let me quickly plug the stream. Where is my uh where's my plug? Not stream, but I mean coaching discord. Also, if you guys would like to join the coaching discord, feel free to discord.gg slash myga. Um just go with that. Love it or no, not bad. Omar has to be creeping up closer to mid plat now, I believe. This guy's probably a bad person to look at since he's on a Smith account, too. Wasn't happy though, sold all these items. Yay. Also on a Smith account. What the hell? Oh, silver four. Hmm. The Omar is not as high as I thought it was. Silver four again. Looks like a low silver game. I don't know how I got into this game. And a gold three? What the fuck is going on? I'm gonna say this is like mid silver, silver three, silver two, silver one MMR. 
All right, guys, that's going to be it for today. As always, if you like the content, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Until next time, take care, good luck on the rift, and peace out. <clears throat> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. Today, as you can see, some more graves. Playing graves first, trundle this game. Again, <clears throat> pardon me, again, not a great matchup. But this one is not as bad as some of the previous matchups we've done today. This should be, I think, the 12th game for the Unranked Diamond series on this uh, Graves account. Maybe the 13th. I might be slightly off. Regardless, we haven't lost a game yet, so let's keep it that way. We're going to be going red, frogs, raptors here, and then maybe ganking mid. Bad, not bad. So far, so good. Hmm. Not loving the mid gank angle right this second. I kind of want to. To see if I can evade Trundle. Oh, oh he's on the crop right now. <laughs> what? First blood. <laughs> what is he doing? Yeah, I don't know what to say about that one, ladies and gentlemen. A uh, bit of an interesting move there by Mr. Trundle. Holy shit, the fucking Ash leash on the way back to lane. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna do Grump into the um, Wolf Camp. And then I actually think I'll be able to pick up Raptors by that time. And so I'll probably just full clear towards top, potentially gank top. Mid gank is available. I am kind of looking at that. Thing is, I just don't see it happening. I'm gonna hover this actually a little bit here. Oh my goodness. Christ, can I stop these from hitting her, please? Nice. Shut the fuck up. Quiet now, little boy. She uh she jumped my auto attack damage. She's paying a lot of attention there, recalling. An 
Oh, nice. Oh, no, please, not AP Jax, man. This game is going to be so brutal. Keep pinging that um that arena's going bot. Hopefully these guys can react to that. Let's see what happens. Does this help this guy? I think it does. I think it helps him. Holy shit, I need to mute these guys. They're fucking pings. Alright, yeah, it does help him. So much yapping out of these teammates. Jesus Christ. What's about look at both like hard stock on like quote unquote smurf accounts? Like a little thought experiment. Just check right here and then go to Krugs. Boom, boom. Where a trundle is. I'm gonna move into this little pocket here just so that I can get the um paper mid. I guess that one's coming here. Yep, they are both hard stock on, you know, like, board accounts. Makes sense. Alright, well, I'll get them at the end, I guess. Biggies. Need to go next account, anyway. I need a little vacation. I can imagine being like a 30-40% win rate player calling people a dog. Just on a low elo too, and over a large sample, not like just oh, five games or whatever. Actually, a large sample. Oh, can I slow her? Why jump on me here, actually? Ulti, ulti. What? Ah, oh, I'm dead. <laughs> ah. I'll play by that guy, I guess. In the end. Oh, actually, it's just a lie. Yeah, so Uncle Chuck, 50 games, 39% win rate. 
and Jax, 33 games, 45 7 rate. Holy shit. Wait, their Ezreal has a 10% win rate. is like the best player even though this actually kind of sucks my jacks this time this way he doesn't have to tp back i don't know hard situation there he gets to walk back uh, it's like not the worst either tp back both are fine but yeah he should have walked back The reason I pushed the wave there for him is because of slow pushing. I don't really expect that you guys will do that in your games, but yeah, it seemed like it would be beneficial in that situation, although, you know, what he does with that. Real? That actually worked. Interesting. Got that? Fuck. <laughs> ah Damn man. Oh my fucking Leona AFK too. <laughs> what is going on here man? Jax with the roam mid. Side of the top lane. Not the place to go. Unfortunate that my teammate is not here sooner. She should actually she should still get this. Ulti, ulti. Okay, whatever doesn't matter. But yeah, so these two are are really griefing us. Leona's not trying to grief us, don't think at least. Oh lord. I'm pretty sure the reason that Ezreal has such a low win rate is because he's boosted last season to go four. The only thing that really makes sense to me. I don't really know what the fuck that guy was doing there. The issue with this game is that it's pretty likely my teammates might just hostage FF me here, even though I have a four level lead. And the game should just be completely free. Also, how crazy is it that enemy JG not a single successful gank? I don't even know if he has ganked anyone. And uh, all my laners are losing. So, yeah. It's kind of crazy. Oh, this guy loses this even harder because I have um, stacks now. It's my gromp. Ah. Uh. I'd actually do that just in case my Jax tries to jump on it. How's that? Not good, boys. Not good at all. Nice. Roll. This is probably watered. Yeah, pretty common ward spot. I don't actually think I can go for this until I have um Merc tread, so I'm just gonna go back and clear the blue. And kind of just try and create pressure with my position here. <laughs> You're gonna walk back through here? Where does he go? Good. Oh my god. Oh. 
Actually, sure, let's do it. I really do need to get a base off the Empire Boots in a moment's time. Bro, where's the Katarina, man? Okay. Yeah, still not back. Ah, uh, they're on this. Whatever, I'm just gonna give. I don't wanna go over there and end up like dying and just booming the game. <laughs> uh, the fucking flame in the top lane. That's a major issue. Ah. Uh. I'd have played it better, would have been a better situation. Really surprised my teammates haven't tried to FF it on me. To me, that's kind of crazy. This is not looking good. <laughs> ah! The worst part is... No. There is no more... No more worst parts, man. My life. My MMR is somehow going down with every win. How's that real? And they only have Exodia champs. This is such bullshit. Fuck. Bad. Okay. I'm gonna base, see if I can sort out this Ezreal. Israel. Oh my goodness, he is coming. Okay. Still a little bit fucking difficult to deal with, not gonna lie. I can't CC is so much. Anyway. Soon, hopefully. Uh, slave. All right, this guy's gold value is reset. That's kind of cool for us. I see Trundle. He is top side. See if I can kill him here. Do you kind of want my cleaver before the next fight? Ah, uh, Rakan. It's gonna be a major issue. Oh my goodness, bro. Really? That's not how I expected to die there. 
That's fucking pain. Holy shit, this might be GG. Jax is dead too. I guess what happens here, they get Baron and probably Annie dies to Katarina. Find them. Oh my god, this <laughs> Why do the enemy teammates just seem so much better? I think the whole enemy team is just smarter. Had the move speed. Bro, where are my teammates, man? Um, oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Shit, man. Any abilities? It's actually fucking insane. Jack's lost to Trundle, too. Damn, man. This might be the one. This might be the one, boys. These might be the uncarryable apes. These guys want to do drag. I'm going to have to stop this. This is kind of annoying for me to deal with. Ah! It's GG. I lost the game. I can't just go in. Oh, it's actually so crazy. I'm trying to get drag. We'll build. <laughs> oh. I need a fight. There's not even there's no actual good way to fight any of these fights. I need a pick. I have double inhib is another huge issue for me. Okay.
I can't get anywhere near these guys, sadly. Really? Go back. Ah, she suicided. And execute. Actually, can't win. It's over. I don't have enough teammates. It's like, I literally just playing the game without any players around me. Ezreal is too hard for me to kill. He needs to face check me, but I don't have any vision. One. Oh, it's so impossible, actually. Oh, actually, maybe not. Catch this now, though. My whole team versus Lowey? Sure. That's really big. I'm gonna do this ASAP. I don't have any fucking life stability on the issue. Um, can't fucking do that. Just walk here, bro. Tank this shit for me. Fuck me. Sanity. Hit this, hit this, hit this. But I arrived. I'll do a single thing. Where the fuck was my Annie during that time? I probably need to kill Ezreal. These guys need to kill the other two. Guy's got to run on top of me. <sighs> I mean, after these retards should just get banned for this, but I don't think they will, sadly. Oh wait, Jax kills this, right? Surely. No, oh, he's so bad. So bad, Jesus Christ. I've still this. Pick up that. That's basically as good as it can be. Oh, 
All right, let's just run straight at these guys. Hopefully we can Ash Arrow it. Well, I can't ping my Ash to Arrow it though, because right. Excellent. All right, there's the Katarina. Sure. My goodness, it's so light. I don't have a fucking collector anymore. Go, 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 go. Oh, bro, it's so ridiculous. What the fuck is this guy doing? GG man, you are not fucking, these guys are not humans, it's actually just AI, too impossible to believe, insane, In fucking insane, I don't know where these people are found to play the game, if not for two people like straight actually inting, be fine. I don't know what my Leona's doing. I don't know what my Jax is doing. But yeah. Three of these people should just get instantly banned from the game. Like this Leona. Get instantly banned from the game. Same for the uh, Jax and the Annie. They're all just low elo players actually that bought fresh accounts and have like into them. They shouldn't even be in this elo. I bet all of them, their mains are like fine. It's the only thing that makes sense. Holy shit. Real. Yeah, I pretty much couldn't have been griefed harder. I get put into shit positions in that uh, game because also like my teammates just play so disgustingly bad. Like in that last fight, I eat forward. My Leona missed her E. Like what the fuck is that? Anyway, hopefully they will get banned. I'll man report them all. It's disgusting. I don't want to play this count anymore. We'll see. Alright, this is the runes. Um, until next game, take care. Peace out. Alrighty, guys. The Christmas break has ended. Welcome to a new video. This is going to be a follow-on for the Graves. Guys, this will either be more of episode 2 or the start of episode 3. I'm not sure which one yet. Oh. That's fine. Yeah, so either we'll be doing that um, or as I said before, going further into episode 2 and making it an even longer video. Last game was a pretty tragic game. I uh, managed to lose my first Graves game. Major pain. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Red Star, Garen Jungle on the enemy team, got Blue Ward. He is not starting on his blue, so we're gonna start pinging out his red. Just don't think that makes sense. So if he's there, we're gonna go red, Frogs, Raptors into invade him. Maybe the play. That's nice.
Not the best uh, Krugs clear, I'll let you guys. But I shouldn't matter too much. Oh my goodness, what's happened to me? I was, I was playing like a normal human before I logged on to this account. Oh. Alright, get ready to jump over here, see if there's a little Gara and a little Gazer action. No Gazers yet. Now, does that mean that he is invading my camps? Not quite will be the case. Oh no, the spray is terrible. That's the case. Sure, I'll still be able to grab this blue buff and then we'll go take base. The reason I think that I can take the blue buff is because I've pretty much reduced the Garen's on the other side of the map, which was the case. And that's just based off, you know, where he hasn't been seen yet. Now, Kensi is also coming down for this crab. Oh. A little bit suboptimal, but I should actually turn into a kill here. Have to be a little bit careful. What the hell is that? Ah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, out of here, I think. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Nice way to start off the game, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, boom. Let's go into... No, let's not go into death. That'd be greedy. I think this is better. Gonna go... Gonna go Raptors, Krugs into bot gank again, guys. I'm just gonna continue allowing this bot lane to snowball because I've got a Kaelin Lux. They want to shove in waves, push, poke out the enemy team. And it's versus a uh, Vayne. So if I just continue to give these guys strong side, then I think we just win the game. Also, if I'm looking top, my Malphite, you know, in theory, shouldn't need too much help and is like a really good scaling, low, um, low economy champion. Probably the best way to put that to you guys. I uh, said it's a Garen. Looks like he's trying to uh, take a little cheeky invade on me. I think that's going to be the play though, brother. He may even be looking for a bot gank here through try, so I'm going to start moving towards this area. And I'm moving this way anyway because I'm looking to make my bot lane be strong side. Okay. okay. That's fine. Again, all of this is still just making my bot side strong side because I'm um, creating pressure on their side of the map and I'm staying here so I can react to ganks faster. Quickly link that. Let's look for a cheeky mid gank here. This is Syndra 6. I feel like Syndra's looking for a solo kill. Oh, here we go. We're in the right place at the right time. Nice, we'll take that. Beautiful, we got the Garen over there, so I'm picking that out. There's the big Gaza. Sindra chunked there, so that's really going to help out my mid lane now. The Garen's still cruising around. I 
You're gonna invade me. That appear to be the case. Oh no. Garen's getting an introduction to Jungle Gap. Where's my Gromp Caps, baby? Alright, so Garen in theory is popping towards top side, so I'm probably going to be able to just yoink this. And I'm still playing on the exact same premise as I was before, guys. I just want to make sure that my bot lane aren't getting ganked. Uh, that's a bit of an issue. I'm going to try and get this low enough before enemy bot lane get here. Can't do it. Oh, I can't even know how he suspected that near that. How's he still there? Why didn't he go top? No. I played. Baited and now smarted, man. But the auto slows on him. Sentry coming across. The luck's here too. Okay. Gonna be one. Here's two. No E. Vein rotated all the way up also. Let's see if I can uh, micromanage my Quinn to come here. Not very successful so far. Excellent. Excellent. It's looking like a little cheeky dive angle here for us. Nice. We'll take the reset. And we'll head on towards the bot side. That's where Garen is theoretically going to be. Pick up the Yomus, and we're just going to go for another Dirk here. I'm going to keep pinging my ball lane to be careful. Quick plug. Must be done. Also, if you guys like coaching, head over to coachmiger.com. Join Migers University. It's actually on a pretty neat little discount at the moment for the holiday season. Holiday slash new year season. So, if you guys want that, I would uh, highly recommend checking it out. This is probably going to be the best discount for quite some time. Nice. Located Garen exactly where we said it'd be. So we'll give it over. All right, very, very nice. Let's quickly duck back. We'll go to our Raptor. No, pardon me. We're going to go to our Krogs first. We're going to go Krogs Raptors into our topside camps. Well, I should be fine at this point. And I do need to get over there and defend that Herald slash also invade Garen on his next uh, quadrant. So, you know, whilst we do want to make our bot side our strong side, this game, I can't do it at the detriment of just losing the um, ability to also carry myself. Boom, boom, boom. And Marv, this game feels uh, extraordinarily low. Quickly just moving across here as fast as I can, dropping the ghost blade. Oh, Garen just pressed the outplay button on him. Holy shit. Chad move, Chad move. Okay, what can we do here? Okay. All 
Can we fucking play the video game here or what? Why is my place so far away? Dead. Bro. Fuck's sake, it's the first time she uh, hit the stun on me too. Man, we could have killed them all. Right. Good play to come. Uh... This guy, just come forward. Go that way. Gotcha. Sweet. Nice. I wonder if Garen's doing the Herald. I speculate not. Infernal Dragon. Oh shit, he is. God damn. Are you gonna drop this shit? Probably mid. Oh. Okay, well, if he's top, then I don't need to go to the uh, Herald. What was the shit? Slow on the shit, okay? Sheesh. Alright, I run straight bot here for this uh, dragon. Can't go to my wolves, can't go to any of my bot camps. Here he is, here's the big dog. Yazar has re-entered the map. Guy's actually holding his own pretty well here. Hey, okay, nice. Garen didn't drop Harold before 14. Critical error. Harold, pretty much wasted. I'm gonna try and... Oops, misclicked. This is not ideal. Okay. teammates that sucks i'll right, quickly sweep this shit teammates are also really doing really well this game guys but i would put that down to just the fact that we've created a situation for them to thrive i said this quite often but if you're doing this more often than not you're going to get pretty good results out of your teammates oh i should have wanted that i didn't realize if i was going to say thank you Push one more actually. All right, let me wrap around this corner, take the reset. GG, well played. Um, I think this game is done, toasted in the bag. This is how easy it is to win these lower elo games if you are thinking about what you need to do from the very get-go. One of the biggest differences here between me and, you know, you guys when you're going into the game is the plan that I had in my mind to win this game. I was immediately thinking about how I can get a, you know, lead over Garen. Immediately thinking about how I can maximize my teammates' champions they've picked to get, like, good results for them. Holy shit, what's going on here?
Okay. Well, oh, that was so sloppily played. I believe I didn't get the ult up on Garen Q. That's what I was going for there. Beautiful. We'll outplay there with the move speed advantage, the vision advantage. I got vision push advantage and then vision smoke screen advantage. There we go. Alright, I'll space it up. Continue this LP train with haste. We got the cleaver here. We weren't getting a little bit too low in these fights. Cleaver pink ward. Then we're gonna clear our top side camps into Herald, drop the Herald. Bada being bada boom should be GG. Doesn't really matter if they got the uh, dragons. Should be being chilly. There we go, baby. You fucking kiglet, man. Oh, drop this shit, man. What? Despicable animal. What's my hair that? Ouch. Really? I'm the one thinking here? Holy. Watch your kill! What the fuck's my Panther at, man? God damn. That's fine. Boom, boom, boom. Let us quickly chuck the uh, coaching out. Again, if you guys want to improve your gameplay, head over to coachmarket.com. Join up. To Mikey's University, that's what I recommend for most of you. And uh, start the climb today. 12 wins, 1 loss, very sad. Holy shit, look at this damage. It's a complete 1v9er. This is the runes that we took, same thing we've been taking every game. That's going to be it for this game. Good luck to you guys on your climb, and I'll see you guys in the next game. Peace out. Alrighty guys, welcome to another video. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another video. We're starting red here. We are going to be going red, Krugs, Raptors into Invade, he on blue. Um, and I feel like my team was going to get fisted to this game, so I'm not looking forward to that. Alright, 
peeking at that just to make sure that we can see what's going on. Ooh. Everything's going well so far. I look like you start a blue, but I don't have any mana missing. So a little bit confused, yes. Boom boom boom. I'm just gonna send it and do what I think you know would be correct, even though I don't really have great information to scam. Oh fuck. What the hell is that man? Are you starting blue? Right, it doesn't look like he's here for the bot gang, that's why I was heading down towards bot. Nice, I'm just tanking there for a bit. Push right. Oh. Yes. Excellent stuff. Three minutes and ten seconds. He is going to be on his progs. He's dead here, actually. No more W. After flash. Wink. Drop a trinket here on these grom. Oh. Alright, so we know years here slash here. So flat info. Yep, and then nice where I would ping that out. Probably actually saves that teamer from dying to a gank there. So you can see how like just a tiny little decision like that, you know, was actually beneficial, even though it's slightly slower tempo. We're getting a uh, good return on investment for our time anyway, so we'll take those day of the week. W. Still the year there, 28 CS. Not exactly sure what he's doing, because that crab should be down, so I'm gonna ping mid. Not to die to a gank here. Actually I'm gonna ping mid again right now. Would you use Raptors be up again? I think not. Must have been CS 32 CS now. And he's gonna go to Wolves. Oh, he's gonna reset? Oh, he's gonna take mid wave. What the hell are we doing? Thank you. 
Oh no. This may be a major fucking issue. It's a major fucking issue. That guy reset. Not entirely sure about what happened. I didn't think that uh, my mid would reset. I kind of thought my bot might reset. And I hate that. Let's invade Yanni's Raptor slash red. Maybe there's an alt angle mid too, not sure. Doesn't appear to be the case. Days, really? What is wrong with me? As I expect, the top is getting pounded. I got in here. I'm gonna keep him slowed here for the. Okay, okay, we blocked that. Oh, we're chilling. The Zerath ulti. They're obviously looking for the kill here. Boom. Reset. What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? I need the fucking plant. Ah, man. That's fine. Let's do Grom, and then Wolves, then reset, guys. This game's not going as well as the other ones, but it should be chill.
Oh, that's a nice one. There you go, yeah. Let's reset it up, ladies and gentlemen. Got our items. Let's try out a Storm Raiser game. A lot of people ask me about this trash. I don't think it's very good, but let's test it. If this, if like any game is going to be a good Storm Raiser game, it kind of feels like this would be it. Drop this Herald. I'm just gonna drop a mid. Got the Storm Razor, baby. Moves here is definitely nice. Set. Let's get down towards this. Um, gonna plug the coaching in a moment here before this game finishes. It's gonna be over pretty quickly. I'm probably gonna snowball the shit out of this game right now. Really? Yes. There's a Twitch over here. Oh my goodness, man. Holy shit. Hey, take those. We fucking take those show about it these days. Oh, he does. No shit. Oh my god. It's fine. Looks pretty free. What's going on here? It looks like he had a ward. Definitely knows a man now, doesn't he? Oh shit.
Oh shit, man. Save me. Oh, Seraphine didn't have all yet. Ah, oh, damn. Timo's getting fucking smacked up. Okay, there's a few issues this game, there's a few issues. Much longer on this cleaver, 7 gold. So I'll take it. He is wasting time. I'm gonna go take his uh, red man here. Ah, shit. He's on his red right now. He got it too. About to be here, rat a tat tat. Boom. Go through here. Oh, this is looking good. to get the black cleaver stack. To ye. No, what? That's not the panther? I have flash here. I can flash alley WQ. Not hit anything, bro. Shit. I don't know. I don't think this build is better, by the way, than the lethality build. Like Yomo's.
I eat here or so let's go I eat this game I guess all right I guess we'll go like this oh oh no and I guess last item BP kind of smells pretty good Easier if my socket stood still. <clears throat> All right, there we go. There's the quad. Bada bing, bada boom. A cheeky little freebie. Let us quickly let the coaching. I guess I should plug it to you guys too that are watching. As always, guys, if you would like to improve your gameplay, come join my coaching program, coachmarket.com. It's a product called Mike's University. Basically, you get to submit four games per month, get them VOD reviewed. It's me VOD reviewing your actual games so that you know exactly what you need to do to start climbing. Dropping another cheeky 43k damage game. 13 and 1. I'm very upset still that we lost that one game. Um, but it goes to show how many of these low elo games are just completely 1v9 Um, Don't know if I showed you guys the runes, so I'll quickly show you guys the runes. That's going to be it for today, guys. Until next time, take care. Good luck on the rift. Peace out.